Welcome back. We're on day three. Isn't this exciting? This is fun, right? We're getting to dive into all of these different components of booking your group trip and some travel industry hacks that you may not have known about before. Um, okay, so let's get started on our day three tasks. What we want to do now is we really just want to talk about the fun stuff, right? So we've already done our research. We've talked about our numbers. We know how much we're paying per person, where we're going, all of that type of stuff. So now we need to make it something that people actually want to attend, right? And guess what? That can be as simple as naming your trip something really catchy, right? So let's have a little fun with the title of your event. And here's some examples. You can do something like, oh, ship. It's a girl's trip. <laughs> By the way, Coach Natalie and I, this is like our favorite part of all of the challenge is making up names for trips. So just stay with us. It'll get a little corny, but it'll be fun at the same time. How about, oh my, oh me, we're going to sea. Or how about this? We out this beach. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because we out, we ready to go. So just keep it catchy and grabby and fun and, you know, just start thinking about different things that you can kind of throw in and different travel elements that just make it fun and interesting for people so that they know that, you know, not only are we going to have a travel experience, we're going to have a good time. So Coach Natalie, tell them what else they can, you know, learn and what they can do about the actual cost of the trip for themselves. Absolutely. So remember, we always go back to what's in it for me. We talked about the commission. That's for you because you're doing all of this. Uh, you're doing all of the work. But now here, we're going to surprise you with something big. How can you go free or even discounted? What? Coach Devin, when, when they told me that there's... Well and when I went for free, it wasn't just when they told me, when it actually happened, I said, I think that we found something here. I think this might just work for me. Yeah. Go ahead yeah. and tell them. Go ahead and tell them. Tell them. I think I found a new love with it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about um, some different, some ways to go free or discounted. Listen, some ways where you can extremely discount it or go for free is your commission can offset your price. So when you have a group that's um, that's large enough, you have the ability to apply those commissions to your actual booking, right? So that's some things that you can do. Now I will tell you that how commissions can be offset. Um, there are ways where we call it the Pied Piper. The Pied Piper is really like that leader of the group. That's the person saying, I'm putting everybody together and I'm bringing them. There's sometimes uh, the in the industry, they understand that term, especially I love cruises, because when you take a group of at least um, 16 people or eight cabins, then Coach Devin, they will give you a free berth, right? They'll credit, they'll take the average of the number of the commissions or the average number of what the what your guests have spent to apply that to your cabin. And a lot of times... Yep, you're out there cruising for what? Free? What yes. Free? <laughs> so that's that Pied Piper uh, when they come in and they're putting those trips. Now, I love it with also with weddings. If you have a large wedding and you're going out to um, the different even uh, resorts, they, they understand that you've been a part of putting all of this together. So they'll work with you on putting your rooms together and all of that good stuff. So when I tell you that there's money in here, now here's a secret. If you join us and you become an industry professional, we're gonna, and we're gonna unlock all of that. Mm -hmm. But as an industry professional, we have something called fam trips. These are what are known as familiarization trips. I'm going to just go ahead and tell you my first time going to Jamaica, I'm embarrassed to say, but it was only a couple years ago, my first time going to Jamaica. But on a Monday, I went to Jamaica, man, <laughs> and I stayed for five nights at a five-star hotel. Coach Devin, I only paid $99. I know. Yeah. I know you do. Because I went to Mexico and stayed for five days and I paid $99. So I know that you went to Jamaica for that because yeah. I, I went to Mexico for that. Yeah. Isn't that the best? Yes. And it was all inclusive at a five star resort. I yeah. ate, I ate, I drank, I took part in activities and 
I paid a hundred dollars. Yeah. That's the all you can eat, all you can drink. And I tested out both of them very well. <laughs> you and I both. <laughs> <laughs> but those are the things that you get. Um, just to be able, because a lot of these suppliers want you to be able to come out and touch, see, feel the resort before you begin to invite your your guests out there. They want you to know, listen, pick us, <laughs> please. Pick me, pick me, coach. Put me in the game. And that's what they do. So those are some fun ways on how you can go free or how you can go discounted um, on these trips. So that's that. Now, what are some things that we can add? Because we already named it. We're going to have fun with the name. But now we're putting the whole package together for the experience of our friends and family. Coach yeah. Devin. Yes, yes. So this is also one of my favorite parts because it allows you as the planner to really get cute and creative and, you know, personal because chances are, you know, the people that you're traveling with and you know what they like and, you know, the things that they may want to do or experience while they're on their trip. And this is your opportunity to really put that together for them. So things that just make your trip a little more fun and a little more unique. Um, we have four things that we recommend. So the first one, is swag bags, right? So you can get, um, you know, a little bag made with a, you know, little logo for your trip, right? Because we already named it. So maybe your bag says, oh, shit, it's a girl's trip. And inside you have, you know, some sun tanning lotion or, you know, an Advil for those all inclusive, uh, you know, hangovers the next day. Um, maybe you put a t shirt in there that everyone can wear, you know, on a certain day to take a picture, a beach towel, whatever it may be. And so the trick to this is to to make sure that everything that's in the swag bag is covered in whatever you've told the group that the price is, right? Because we don't want you going into your own profits, you know, to make something fun, but you'd be surprised when you have, you know, maybe a $20 or $25 contribution to, you know, the swag bags from every participant that's going on the trip. It can pay for a lot more than you think. Um, especially when you're ordering things in bulk. So definitely find some fun things that you can do because everyone will remember the trip that way. And it's a way to unify the group while you're there. Okay, so the second is themed events. I know that I put it, I put together a trip to Jamaica and at the resort that we stayed, we had an all white event that evening. Um, and it was like dinner and, you know, a little bit of dancing and, you know, just kind of hanging out and it was really fun. Some resorts already have themed events that you can attend. And so if you don't feel like doing all of that, just pick a resort that already has it and just put it in the description for the trip saying, hey, on, you know, Thursday night in the, you know, uh, at the rooftop bar, there'll be a, you know, all white party or, you know, what may have you, whatever you want to put together. But things like that are really fun ways to bring everyone together. And usually there's no charge for them. Even on cruise ships, you can, if you book a certain amount of people, they pretty much will give you, you know, um, a, a, a themed event or just an event time that you can have something for the people that you've come with, maybe in one of their ballrooms or maybe on one of their decks um, where you can just have the time and the space to yourself. So you can do something personal for that time. So, you know, that's something that you can also uh, add into your trip to participate with. One of the other things that clearly Coach Natalie and I love our contest in games. So there are a bunch of different ways that you can incentivize people to participate, to, you know, come and join. If you're like, hey, we're giving away, you know, I don't know, a free this or a free that or a discounted this or a discounted that, um, it gets people's attention. Maybe while you're there, you, you know, thought of some games that you can play. Maybe you have a game night. Maybe you have a scavenger hunt I've seen people do around the resort. You know, it takes a little bit of planning, but the fact that you put some time into it, people really do appreciate. And it makes a big difference when you're trying to get people to go with you places again. And then of course, last but not least is private events. You know, you can have uh, your own private beach party. You can have your own private dinner at, you know, certain restaurants. All of these kind of things are things that you can throw into your package. That just takes it one step you know, further and really makes people want to participate because I don't know about you, but I like getting dressed up and cute, you know, at least one night during my vacation. So if there's a nice dinner or something that's planned, I'm all for that. So those are the four things that you can add to your trip that we recommend that are pretty easy and straightforward, um, but that will really enhance the experience. So back to you, Coach Natalie, close them out and let them know what they can experience in day four. Awesome. So remember, go ahead, 
jot down if you're in our group make sure you're in our group jot down on the post what you named it because the winner we're gonna we're gonna judge them the winner of the you named it right will receive a free trip so we're gonna go ahead and announce that trip but please make sure that you drop it in the comments so we can go ahead and vote on those names yeah. all right everybody we will see you tomorrow see you tomorrow